Hi, my name is Michael Harvey, and in the next four minutes, I'm going to reveal my crazy revenge story of how I and over 56,000 others reduced our electric bill by up to 75% or more in just 30 days. In fact, many of us have completely eliminated our electric bill and now pay nothing to the electric company. And I'm sorry to say, but while we save money month after month, you end up paying more and more. Now, I don't know how you came across this presentation. Maybe a friend told you about it. Maybe you got an email, or maybe you just searched Google for ways to save money. But now that you've discovered this presentation, you can become part of this exclusive group that is no longer forced to pay through the nose for overpriced electricity. Not only that, you can really spit in the face of your electric company and actually have them pay you for the electricity you produce. Sounds crazy, right? If you want to save thousands of dollars every year and become part of this exclusive group that no longer pays for electricity, then please watch this entire presentation from start to finish. And I want you to really commit yourself to this short video. You deserve a break. I can't promise this presentation will be online forever, so please watch it all while it's available. I'm going to show you how to become part of a group that produces free, 100% green electricity seven days a week. How you can reduce your electric bill by 75% or more in the next 30 days, guaranteed. And how you can break free from big energy for the rest of your life. All you have to do is watch the rest of this presentation, and I promise, in 30 days from now, you can slash your current bill by 75% or more. So who am I to make such outrageous claims and actually guarantee these claims? Like I said, my name is Michael Harvey. I'm a 46-year-old electrician from California, and I've been energy independent ever since I stumbled onto this crazy idea four years ago. Back then, I was like you. I was looking for ways to reduce my ever-increasing electric bill. I changed all of my light bulbs to energy-efficient ones. Then I started turning off everything at the wall. Then, despite the scorching heat, I started turning off the air conditioner. Now that one really sucked. After trying every little trick in the book, after getting my family to hate me in the process because I had turned into a power Nazi, after sweating it out for an entire month, I managed to save a crummy little $16 off my next electric bill. whoop de doo My family hated me that month. We had fight after fight as I told them to conserve energy. And all this just to save 16 bucks. I was furious, and I wanted revenge. I didn't care about saving $16. Heck, I didn't even care if I saved 50 I was bitter, and I wanted to kick big energy in the guts and really make them suffer. I had to find another solution because just conserving energy doesn't work. Like many of us looking to save money on electricity, I looked at getting solar panels. So, after seeing a TV ad for a solar company, I decided to call them up and arrange for a quote. This time, I thought I had the electric company backed into a corner. I thought I had won the fight. After spending a few hours with the slick salesperson from the solar company, I was finally given a price. Get this. They wanted to charge me a ridiculous $19,450 for a simple solar installation. And even then, this size system wasn't going to completely cover my electricity usage. I was still going to have a bill. No wonder only the well-off people can afford to go solar. I got a few quotes and the price ranged from between $16,000 and $20,000. Even the cheapest price was far too much for me to afford. It would be years before I paid off the system and got any real benefit. I really wanted to go solar, just so I could get some revenge on my electric company. But I had to confess to myself, it was just too much of an outlay. At this point, I wasn't angry anymore, just down and depressed as I thought. Well, that's it then. The electric company wins again. I gave up trying to beat big energy. Then I remember looking at the solar panel and thinking, why the hell are you so expensive? I couldn't figure it out. So I did some research. Do you know solar cells are made from silicon? Did you also know that silicon is made from sand? When I discovered this, I thought, what the heck? How can they charge so much for solar panels when they're made from something as abundant as sand? It all comes down to sheer greed. If people are willing to spend this much on solar, then why would they sell their panels at a reasonable price? Right then it hit me, like a frozen fish in the face. And like all great ideas, it was simple. I thought to myself, why don't I make my own solar panels? Now remember, I'm an electrician, so I had a fair idea on how solar panels worked. But actually building a solar panel isn't something you get taught when going for an electrical license. It seemed crazy at the time, but what if instead of paying some big energy exec for their overpriced electricity, I could become my own energy company? What if, for a fraction of retail cost, I could build my own solar panels and save a fortune? This really was my last option. If this didn't work, my quest to eliminate my electric bill would be over. After spending countless hours researching how I could make a solar panel, or if it was even possible, 
and after talking with various professionals in the industry, I had finally come up with a plan. I purchased all of the materials I needed from my local hardware store, and combined with the inexpensive solar cells that I sourced online, I took my plan to the backyard and got to work. In just a single day, I completed my first solar panel. The cost? The cost of my homemade solar panel was just $98 and a few cents, and I couldn't believe it. Here is a photo of me working on my solar panel. And here is another photo of me with my very first homemade solar panel. I finished my solar setup that same weekend and basically forgot about it for the next four weeks. Then, I saw the mailman. When I realized he just delivered my electric bill, my heart skipped a beat. I raced out to get the mail and with the envelope in my hand, I was more nervous than ever before. Not because I was scared of how much I was going to be charged. I was nervous because I was about to find out if all those hours of research and all my hard work was worth it. I had already told some friends about my do-it-yourself panels and they basically laughed in my face, so I really wanted this to work. I secretly hoped for a saving of about $80. I cautiously opened the envelope and hoped like hell the number would be good. I scrolled to the bottom line and my jaw dropped. So here's the results of my little experiment that my friends thought was crazy. Usually, my electric bill is anywhere between $120 and $160, but this time, I was looking at a figure of just $18. I was blown away. My homemade solar panels just saved me over $100. At the time, this was a huge deal. But I had only just scratched the surface with my do-it-yourself panels, and I knew I could save more if I scaled my system. In fact, I started toying with the crazy idea of doubling the size of my system to force the electric company to pay me. I was overwhelmed with motivation to build on my system. I started adding the savings, and earnings, up in my head. That was four years ago. Today, my power bill is 100% wiped out, and now I'm the one with all the cards. I now force the electric company to pay me for the electricity that I feed to the grid. Now they're calling me Big Energy. And over the last four years, I have saved over $4,721 off the cost of electricity. That's almost $5,000 that I've been able to spend on myself and my family instead of forking it over to the blood-sucking big energy companies.